This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button. This is a quick video to start your day off, right? Happy Monday. Get to the get to the grind. I mean, <laughs> not to the struggle. Get to the grind. Overcome the struggle by putting out positive energy and put one foot in front of the other. And I know it's the holiday season, so finish off the year strong. Okay. Make sure you smash that like button for me, okay? Now let's get right into this. Moneybag, yo, he can't stop himself. Cheating on Meg the Stallion. And then hooking up with Ari, who is G Herbo's ex, and Javante Davis. He's risking getting a two-piece to the face by Javante. Well, he cheated on her too, okay? She was very upset in her car ride home after all that mumbo jumbo at the club i guess she called him and a girl answered his phone and then he tried to play her by saying oh and da -da -da -da, you know responding with something and then hanging up on her that's how she kind of puts it and it's like yo money bag yo you're you're kind of playing yourself out here bro having all these public relationships you got to keep it more low-key uh let's hear her side right here So this girl's famous for, you know, being G Herbo's baby mother. Uh, that's that's cute and all. Whatever. <laughs> then we got Takashi himself. We talked about this the other day. He streamed better than 90% of mainstream rappers while behind bars. That says a lot. He was pretty quiet this year being behind bars. Didn't warm up till about September, October. In November, when everybody started, you know, going to court and getting sentenced and everything, I think everybody has been sentenced now, and it's he's coming up. Uh, let's see, 18 days? No, less than that. 26 days. When does he go in? The 28th, 18th, seven, eight days. Sorry, I'm tired. I'm trying to do this video before I go to sleep, so you guys have a nice video for the morning, or maybe one right before you go to bed. Um, that's pretty amazing. I mean, you know, you can call him what you want. It's really the CEO, Chris guy that really snitched on everybody. But, you know, this guy added to it, obviously. So he ain't innocent in this situation. But, you know, they did. They were using him and he was using them. So this is how it this is how that goes. You got to pick who you're going to use. And you knew he wasn't going to keep his mouth shut. So you shouldn't have done anything around him. Let's be honest. Uh, but still it is what it is lastly we got it looks like little yachty's getting set. now i heard a little yachty do a verse on little keed's album like a new song that he has out I'm gonna be honest little little yachty's coming into his own okay yeah i'm a little too young for me before you know with a you know i, I don't even know what he was talking about snowing up it's cold and somewhere i don't know cold in minnesota i don't know where that came from he's from atlanta but it, it is what it is I like his new style though on the little key thing, and I'm, I'm kind of I'm gonna check out his album when it comes out. It looks like Young Thug's helping him, and what it's been missing, and he's gonna kind of step in and do some executive production. That should be pretty cool. Anyways, guys, I'm really tired. I'm gonna go to sleep. Hope you guys start off your day. I'm you know I'm gonna get up in a few hours anyways and start up again with you guys. But you know, appreciate you guys. I hope you guys are having a great day. Start off your day right. Today is the ninth. It's the ninth. Okay, so. Christmas is just about 14, 15 days away. Crazy, right? Two more weeks. Three more weeks, the year's over. Um, make sure you take care of yourself. Drink a lot of water. Get some sleep. Stay stress-free. Drink, you know, if you're of age, drink a little wine at night, you know, 21 and over. A little white wine. That'll take the stress off. Don't, don't, 
don't do the stress thing, man. That just adds to everything. I used to be really stressed out years ago. And it just is not good. You just got to keep working. Um, you know, we'll, we'll get into some more talks. But, you know, just keep putting one foot in front of the other. And uh, keep trying out there because you got to meet the universe halfway. If you're sitting on your couch and you're not doing anything, nobody can help you. But if you get out there and try, at least somebody can help you. You never know when you're going to get some help. And we all need help sometimes, you know. Um, we all need guidance. And... Uh, just keep trying, man. Just like my brother, you know, like he works a regular job, but he loves music. And I keep telling him he keeps playing himself because he's not working at the music. Even if it's a side thing, it's a distraction. You know, you need to do, you need to stay active in something you love. Otherwise, you're going to totally lose yourself and you're just going to be a guy working a job. You're going to have a, you know, maybe a relationship or whatever, but there has to be something that you identify with. I don't care if you collect baseball cards, collect stamps, or you like to read, or you like to learn things on YouTube. I don't care what you like to do. You gotta have something that's yours. You can't continue to live a pattern. Something's gotta be yours throughout the day, and you gotta carve out a little bit of time for you. But um, anyways, this video is getting way too long. I just wanna wish you guys a happy day. Start your day strong. And uh, the most important thing I can tell you is that you got to keep bad energy out of your circumference. Um, don't invite bad energy in. If, if somebody puts you in a bad mood when you talk to them on the phone or something, put their phone on silent. So when they call, you don't get their number calling you or whatever. Keep, don't talk to people that put you in a bad mood. Just keep bad people away from you, man. You know, that's one thing I, I, I did over the past couple of years. And I keep bad people at a distance and talk to them at a minimum. And I'll be honest with you, everything just got better after that. Sometimes you can't choose the other bad things like family. <laughs> you know, sometimes you just got to deal with that stuff. But um, you can still keep it to a minimum. But uh, family's family. You know, you can't choose your family, so... But you can choose your friends. <laughs> Anyways, guys, love you guys and I appreciate you guys. And I hope you guys are having a great day. Don't forget to take care of yourself because, you know, a lot of a lot of people are, you know, Juice World is gone. You know, that could have been from being on a plane, your blood thins out. Yeah, a lot of people have trouble when they fly and maybe who knows what it is, you know. I don't know. You know, he was young. But it happens. I had friends. I had a friend in high school that went to college and he died in his sleep. You know, it just happens. So, you know, some things are unexplainable. Like I told you, my girl lost her daughter last year in a car accident. A guy swerved and hit her car. You know, like things happen, you know, that are unexplainable. But you got to keep moving forward. You know, that's, that's life. Life keeps moving forward. It doesn't stop. I love you guys. I'll check you guys later. Peace.